sneak back in my house. Yeah, I'm in my house today. Right, I had a um, comment from Ron, or a message from Ron, from a video I done a long time ago about installing your first Linux uh, operating system. I only had one or two of them because I thought it wasn't going anywhere. But he quite rightly said, where would a newbie or somebody who doesn't know anything about Linux get those distributions from? Ah, so I thought we'll do a really quick one for this evening and see what's going down in the house. So, one of the first things you would see is DistroWatch, okay? If you go to DistroWatch, most of your Linux and BSD and other stuff will be here. Obscure stuff and new stuff. So if I go down here and look on the right hand side, they have a hit ranking. Okay, This is not a chart. It's only a hit ranking. Okay, It is not a chart. It does not mean these are the most successful distros in the Linux or BSD world. Okay. So at the moment we've got MX Linux, which I really love, it's nice. Manjaro, also love. Goes bang sometimes. Mint has really always been popular. Ubuntu, Debian, Elementary, Pop OS. The last three, well the last two, should I say, Pop OS and Elementary are based on Ubuntu. Remember Ubuntu is based on Debian. Long story, but I won't go any further. But say you decide that you want to try one of these things. And you don't want to use DistroWatch. So if I go here, I open another window up for you, and I type in Ubuntu, like so, and download, you can go here, yeah, I'll click that anyway, and download the one you want. So there's flavors, Ubuntu for IoT. So if you're doing stuff with Pies or single computers, it's good. Ubuntu Cloud, not getting to that much myself. Ubuntu Server, that's good with uh, Pi and stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you can find out what you want to download. So we want to download the Ubuntu desktop. Hmm. Do I want Ubuntu? So just have a look. So the one at the moment is 2004.1 LTS. I'm on 2004 on Zubuntu. Yeah. Dual core processor is required and 4 gig of memory. That's quite standard across the board for any operating system. If you've got Windows, you know what I mean. You'll probably need a bit more than that, really. USB and DVD drive is required, one or the other. Okay, all depends on your system. But say I didn't want to do that. Okay, if I go back and I go to Ubuntu flavors, and let's have a look. So over here, these are the official flavors. There are unofficial flavors that you can get. So Kubuntu, a lot of people like it because it's got KDE. Lubuntu, really, really fast, really, really light. It's having a bit of a Mm, shall we say a bit of a, a bit of a mishmash at the moment? Ubuntu Budgie, another desktop environment. These are all desktop environments, but they're all basically Ubuntu. Okay, so this is one I've got here. Ubuntu. Sorry, Ubuntu. That's one I use. But someone use Mate, okay, or Mate. Look, I've been calling it Mate for a very long time, and it's going to be Mate for me until the day I die, so don't really worry about it. So all you do, say you want to want to Mate or Mate, you click here. Yeah, there we are. It's there. There's some screenshots for you. Yes, it does run on the Pi too. I have got all my run on one of my Pies. It's super duper. So if we go to download up here, right? What do we want? It still supports stuff from a 32-bit. But only until 2021, okay? It's gonna be 64-bit. So, should we say we'll do a? You know what? Instead of a 64-bit for ordinary computers, I'll get the Raspberry Pi 64-bit. Now I know this runs quite well actually. If I click there, and I can choose between 1804 or 2004. So I'm gonna go for 2004. 2004. Gonna be the one. I'm gonna go fire download. Drive and it tells me where I want to go. I don't want to go to tube music, I want to go to my desktop and I'll save. And that should be it. Down. And here it goes. So at the moment, it's downloading the whole ISO. You can then put it on the stick. Yeah, remember it's for a Pi, it's different from uh, anything else. So if I go back to download while that's downloading, and I'll go to the 64 bit. Okay, so we go. You still get the choice of 1804 or 2004. 
So I'll download that one as well for your Intel desktop. Click on there, direct download, bish bosh, save, we're done. And as you can see now, we are downloading both images, one for the Pi and one for my x86 machine. Yeah, that's how simple it is. I can now close that window, okay? okay. So I'm, I'm back in DistroWatch. So if I scroll down, they're still all down down don't worry about it. You can choose whatever one you want to try. And say you've tried a, a couple and you want to try something different. Say give PC Linux OS a try. Now, PC Linux OS has been going a really, really long time. I like it. It's great. I just don't use it as my daily. There's so many more that you can use. We'll go back again and we'll see what we're doing. Okay. We'll go right down now. We're going to go right down, right down. We'll go down to right down. We've got Fer Ferrin's at 70. Well done, Ferrin. Well done, matey. He's been doing this for quite a while now, and he's got his stuff together. Alex Ellie. Mm. Me and the guy don't get on very well. That's another story. Okay. We've got Gecko. We've got Ubuntu Studio. Go down further. Steam OS. Yeah. Steam OS for just Steam. Okay. And Trident is the bottom. So what is Trident? Let's have a look. We'll open them up. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. Project Trident is a desktop focused operation based on Void. Previously, True S, so that means there's a bit of BSD going down, yeah? As far as I'm aware. Uses a Lumina desktop, mm, not too fond of that. And number self developed system administrations. You might want to give it a go. It may not work for you. Yeah, it just may not work for you. I'm sure there's another window. If it don't work for you, don't worry about it. And these are the two ones I've got downloaded now. But if the distro doesn't work for you, try another one. Yeah, just try another one. You will find one that suits you in the end. Yeah, trust me. Sneaky links out. See you later. Bye bye.